Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see the solution to the lead code problem count square submatrices with all ones. So we are given m cross n matrix of ones and zeros and we have to return how many square submatrices have all ones. So that means basically we are given a matrix and we have to find the all the squares with which comprise only of one and each one itself is also a square. So you can see in this example, I don't have a notepad with me so I'll just Thing using this so we have this example this is the matrix given m cross n and yeah so you can see that all of the ones here form a square and like it says there are 10 squares of side ones so 10 plus now next will be 4 so length 4 we have uh, this you can see this is of length 4 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 and this is of length 4 so like that we have to count how many squares are there comprising only of ones with no zeros. So uh, this problem I wouldn't say it is easy. I mean it is easy if you know dynamic programming well. Otherwise it gets a little difficult. So uh, I would suggest doing some dynamic programming problems which use 2D matrices to solve them. So what we'll be doing in this is like I said we'll use dynamic programming. So two things will happen. So we have this matrix. So uh, let me just copy this. So we have this matrix, right? So we have this matrix given in the problem. So what we are going to do is we are going to make another matrix with the same dimension and we will call that DP. So DP will have the same dimension as our original matrix. But uh, what DP of IJ will represent is DP of IJ will represent the number of square matrices with it as bottom corner meaning that if this is dp of ij then how many squares can be formed using this as a bottom corner so here you can see that only one can be formed when that is itself but if I look here, if I take this as dp of i j, dp of i and j, so how many squares can be formed with this as the bottom right corner of that square? So this itself, then this square is also having this as its bottom right corner. So that will be 1 plus 1, 2. So 2 squares will be there. So likewise, all of the dp of i j over all i and j will give me the total number of squares because each dp of ij represents the number of squares matrices with dp of i with i j position as the bottom corner so and so what we'll do for that is the uh, first of all the bottom case which there is in dynamic programming so the bottom case will be that the first row and the first column of dp matrix will be the same as the given matrix in the problem now why is that because dp of ij is the number of square matrices with it as bottom right corner so here you can see that the only square matrix with which can be formed with this as bottom corner for every element in the first row are themselves likewise for every element in the first column which uh, can be used as the bottom right corner of any squares are, the, are themselves as the squares so the first row and the first column will be as it is which will be our bottom case otherwise dp of ij will be so first of all if dp of i if uh, this is matrix right so if matrix of i j is 0 then dp of i j will be 0 so this is just i'm just writing this in pseudocode i'll write the actual code after this so if matrix of ij is 0 then dp of ij will be 0 why because if this itself is 0 then the number of squares that I can form taking this as the bottom right corner will be 0 because all the squares should comprise only of 1 else will has dp of ij is equal to minimum of its uh, upper its left its upper left plus 1 so otherwise it will be the minimum of either upper or its left or its upper left meaning that diagonally here and we'll add plus 1 to it. So with this we'll be able to find the uh, answer by adding all the elements of dp 
matrix. So let's get to it. So let's first take in term and n. So m will be matrix dot length. So it is m cross n. So m will be the number of rows and n should be the number of columns. So that will get by doing matrix of zero dot length. Okay. So now, like I said, we have to make our DP matrix. So we'll just form that. So int uh, DP is equal to new int and the size will be same m and n now we'll have a sum int sum is equal to zero and what we'll do is for int uh, i is equal to zero to i less than m i plus plus and for int j is equal to zero j less than n j plus j plus plus so like I said, for the first row and the first column, everything will be as it is. So we'll just say that uh, if i is equal to 0 or j is equal to 0, then dp of i j is equal to matrix of i j, right? Uh, otherwise, first the case, if uh, matrix of i j is equal to 0, like I said, if the corner of the square is zero, then no squares can be formed using that. So dp of ij in that case will simply be zero. So dp of ij in that case will be zero. Uh, otherwise, dp of ij will be math dot min of uh, dp of r minus one j, which will mean the left and comma math dot so we want to find the minimum of the left the upper or the upper left minimum of those three so of that with uh, math dot min of dp of uh, i and j minus one and here also dp of i minus one j minus one so we'll just move that here Okay. So with this, uh, we will have formed our matrix. You can print it if you want to see how it is working. Then we'll just uh, find the sum, or we can find the sum in here only. Otherwise, we'll get a longer runtime. Although having this uh, on the same time complexity, different runtimes don't matter that much. But in any case, we'll just add it here. So sum plus equal to dp of i j. So all the dp of i j will the will be the sum of all dp of i j will be the final answer, meaning that we've counted all the squares by taking every element and asking every element and asking how many squares can be formed formed by taking that element as the bottom right corner of the square. So this, this, and return sum. Okay, so I hope I didn't make any mistake. Let's run it. Okay, so uh, yeah, I think I forgot to add one. So it will be either the upper, the minimum of uh, left, upper left, upper plus one because one more square will be formed plus one because one more square will be formed that is the one itself this one itself so we'll add plus one here and hopefully that will correct it and it did so let's submit it and it got accepted although the runtime isn't that good that impressive although we shall use dp and we did it in O of uh, M plus N. So I suppose a little here and there runtime can be optimized, but that's the gist of it. So what we're doing essentially is taking every element in matrix and uh, counting how many squares can be formed by taking that as the bottom right element. So that's all. Thank you.